Hi there, hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another video. This is another updated list now that we have a lot more new shoes added to the mix. Today we're going to be going over basketball shoes with the best cushioning so far this year. So these are the most comfortable shoes on feet with also great performance on the court. Uh, for me personally, cushioning is actually my priority, so I look for a soft and responsive setup with a smooth core feel. I listed some notable shoes that are the best in this aspect. Uh, one of them might be a shocking pick to a lot of you. And keep in mind that we're focusing entirely on cushioning for this video. And these are all shoes released in 2022, so it's not an all-time list. All right, so the first shoe on this list also, my pick for the best cushion setup out there on the market right now is the New Balance 2-Way V2. I mean, this is a shoe that you're gonna see quite a few times on my top list this year. Such an amazing performer overall, and I was genuinely surprised by how comfortable they felt on feet right from the first time I put them on. I've been waiting the whole time and finally got a colorway that I really like. I believe Zach Levine wore this colorway during the All-Star game this past season. The technology featured on these is Fuel Cell, pretty common on New Balance shoes, but what's new is that for heel cushioning, they added the Absorb DRS, officially described as a gummy-like material that displaces the foam. I don't know what exactly it is, but from a consumer's perspective, this is just top-notch cushioning that I can get. Very nice compression in the heel, smooth transition, and the midsole feels very soft and responsive too. What's even better to me is that they are really light on feet, around 385 grams, and to give you a reference, that is lighter than the PG6. So even though they look like a chunky mid-top, they are in fact lightweight and good for shifty players too. They fit true to size. I go down the half size with most of my New Balance lifestyle sneakers, but the two-way two is true to size. The next shoe has been a stable on my best cushioning list, and that is the Puma MB1. So this is both the regular version and the low top, by the way, because they have the same setup, which is a full-length nitro foam. Puma's premium technology, basically, and it does feel very comfortable on the court. Simply put, you can really feel the nice cushion right underneath your foot, and they also have good impact protection, so your feet are secure inside pretty much all the time. In case you're wondering what the difference is between the regular and the low top, the core feel did become more low to the ground, but no, they did not become lighter. Actually, the low top was even a bit heavier. Anyways, that might be the one downside of the shoe, aside from dust pickup, which is that they are slightly on the heavier side, but not too bad. Moving on, you probably already know, now we're talking my pick for the best overall hoop shoe so far this year, the Nike PG6. Full length Nike React. In terms of cushioning, this shoe is a big upgrade from the PG5 better padding and compression. It's hard to even find a weakness on the PG6 really. And overall comfort level is definitely up there. They also require very minimal break-in time and very good value for its price at 110 US dollars. All right, so here's the unexpected pick that might surprise a lot of you, the Curry 306. Okay, I admit maybe a little bit of recency bias because they did come out recently, but for a budget shoe at only 80 bucks and possibly even cheaper with a discount later on, the cushioning feels great for its price. It has a full length Micro G midsole, one of the most underrated setups. Unlike some other budget shoes, there is no stiff feeling at all, and the nice curve shape also provides a smooth transition on the court. Another shoe with excellent cushioning, sort of overshadowed by Hardens and Trey Youngs when they came out, is the Adidas Dame 8. So here I gotta tell you first that unfortunately the Dame 8's traction kinda sucks. But since we're focusing on cushioning here, the Bounce Pro feels very responsive. A lot of compression under the heel, and right from the beginning I always consider them to be a comfortable shoe to hoop in. Just keep in mind that they're probably not the best option if you're a really shifty player, or if traction is your absolute priority. I've had a few times where I was actually slipping in these in the indoor gym. So that concludes this list for the basketball shoes with the best cushioning this year that I wanted to talk about. Obviously there are a few other shoes that have great cushioning as well. The Harden Volume 6 with full lens boost, Curry 4 Floatrol and Curry 9, Kyrie Infinity with the best cushioning of the Kyrie line, and of course the one I didn't like as much, the GT Jump, which gives you a lot of bounce. Let me know your pick for the most comfortable basketball shoes this year in the comments, or which cushioning setup you like the most. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.